Welcome to our webinar entitled, Consider Your Ways. Yeah, think about that one. And it's actually scriptural. Uh, let's go to the Father in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord. We just give you the glory, honor, and praise. And Lord, we just love you. We just love love everything about you. And, and we just invite you into this webinar. You're always welcome in these webinars. It's your message to your people. We also invite Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the angels and all of heaven as we go forth and bring forth a fresh and new word to your people. Lord, we just send forth the Holy Spirit now to um, touch the people's hearts, to be open, and the angels to pave the way for the word. And we just give you the glory, honor, and praise, Father. And uh, just have your way. And we just put the blood of Jesus over this webinar, destroy every plan of the devil, in Jesus' name. Consider your ways. That is actually a, a biblical verse in the Bible, and you'll find out later. What is this really saying to you? When you say consider it really means, according to dictionary.com, means to think carefully about, especially in order to make a decision, contemplate or reflect on so that's what consider means to think carefully about in order to make a decision contemplate or reflect so when the sentence states consider your ways it means to think carefully about your ways or contemplate your ways reflect on your ways what does that mean your ways it means your ways of living the ways of doing things so what is the Father saying to you? If he is saying this to you, consider your, your ways, he might be seeing something that needs to be adjusted in how you live your life. But are we really expanding our scope to see where we are headed? Have you sat down and thought carefully of your ways or reflected on them? To some, this may be a word of caution from the Father while for others it may mean an adjustment or expanding the view of your life long term. We are not to just live for the day by day circumstances, but to what or where is each day taking us. So we're not supposed to be just focused on each day, I got to do this, I got to do that. But in the whole schema of things, where is each day taking you? Are you just taking care of these little things but not really seeing where you're headed or trying to accomplish? Do you have goals in mind? Have you reflected on things the Father has said to you personally through a message, His Word, or a prophetic word? Are you making steps to obey what He has said to you? We are allotted so many years on this earth. And then we will go into eternity from this life to heaven or hell. How are you living these years? Ask yourself, what are you doing every day? Where are you planning to be? What are you doing for the Lord? Are you obeying what he told you to do? These things you got to sit down and consider what are you doing? Maybe you are living it, it now for yourself rather than in obedience to the Father. Haggai chapter 1 verse 5 in the Amplified says, Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways and thoughtfully reflect on your conduct. This verse is important to the Father because two verses later in Haggai 1 7, the Father mentions it again. Other translations, now I'm going to read the same verse. Consider your ways. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it in other versions, biblical versions, and maybe you can get a better understanding of what he's saying to you. In the complete Jewish Bible, it says, "Therefore, is what Adonai." And I may, may be mispronouncing this. To solve it, says, "Think about your life." So, in this uh, Jewish Bible, it says. Think about your life. That's what that's their their version of saying consider your ways. In the easy to read version, it says, Now the Lord all powerful 
says, think about what is happening. Okay, so that's another way of saying consider your ways. Think of think about what is happening. The other one said, think about your life. Expanded Bible, this is now this is what the Lord all powerful mighty of heaven's armies of hosts says think about what you have done consider your ways now you see how all of all of these so far are saying the same thing but in a different way so the reason i'm doing this and maybe something will click in your understanding of what you need to do and what the father is saying to you um in the Good News translation, it says, don't you see what is happening to you? That's another way of saying, consider your ways. The Message Bible says, and then a little later, God of the angel army spoke out again. Take a good hard look at your life. Think it over. You have spent a lot of money, but you haven't much to show for it. You keep filling your plates, but you never get filled up. You keep drinking, drinking, and drinking, but you're not all, you're always thirsty. You put on layer after layer of clothes, but you can't get warm. And the people who work for you, what are they get, getting out of it? Not much. A leaky, rusted out bucket. That's what. So that's a longer version of getting to the point consider your ways so if some of those things you feel like you can't get ahead or something like that you know that's what that's what i get out of that but you might have gotten something else so don't go by what i'm saying i'm just saying that the message bible went into greater detail uh, the voice bible says think very carefully about your choices so that I, every one of them had such a twist that it gave, got me wondering, you know, how many different ways you can have a version of Consider Your Ways. Each of these translations speaks the same thought, but in different ways. I chose these translations to give you a better understanding of what the Father is saying to you personally. There may be a certain translation that really speaks to you and gives you that understanding of what the Father is saying to you personally. Take heed today and seek the Father and truly be honest with yourself and with Him of what He is saying to you. For Him to say this to you today, consider your ways. He wants you to closely look at your life and see what you are doing and really where are you headed. In my own personal life, several years ago, I didn't consider my ways. I got so involved in a business I had and thought nothing of being so involved. I just thought, well, I'll just do what I can do. It was a business that the father called me to. Out of the blue, in my eyes, out of the blue, my eyes had got bad. I mean, I had 20-20 and all of a sudden uh, my vision wasn't too well. I never had problems with my eyes. I don't even wear glasses. But I asked the father, why did you allow this to happen? He told me, you were getting far, far away from me. So I repented to the father and got surgery on my eyes. I also repented of other things he showed me. After I repented and humbled myself, the father caused the surgery to be very successful well above the normal levels of success for that surgery. My father healed my eyes and restored me back to a close relationship with him that I once had. And now listen very closely. Busyness can do that. It can get you far, far away, and you're going, well, the Lord led me to do this. No, you, you, have, you have things to do for him, yes but you also need to take time to spend with him. And the enemy will use anything to draw you away from the Father. Always be mindful of that. So the best time is to get up early in the morning and spend that time with him. Get your mind straight. 
your focus on him. He speaks to you. And and then that way, he's leading and guiding you how to do different things through the day. So you don't get so busy that you neglect uh, spending time with him and also going to church. So you have to be careful because the enemy will justify it in your mind. You don't want to be where I was. As this web- webinar is going forth and you thought about your ways, here in Exodus thirty-three thirteen in the Amplified is a prayer Moses said to the Father. And I thought this was pretty um, relevant, especially if you are, uh, you know, thinking about this and you're, you're questioning yourself. You could say this after me because this is, a, a, is I think, is a prayer it was said directly to the Father, but it's also saying, I want to know your ways. So you can say this after me. Now, therefore, I pray you, if I have found in favor in your sight, it means in God's sight, let me know your ways. And you can repeat this after me. So that I may know you becoming more deeply and intimately acquainted with you, recognizing and understanding your ways more clearly, and that I may find grace and favor in your sight and consider also that this nation is your people. And you can find that in Exodus chapter 33, verse 13 in the Amplified. And you can look that up. And repeat that again after you spend some time, Lord, about your ways and considering your ways. You can go back through and and say that to the Lord. Now, the father's response to Moses was Exodus 33, verse 14. And the Lord said to Moses, because Moses said this prayer and said, let me know your ways so that I may know you. And I want to be more intimate with you and find grace and favor in your sight. This is what the Lord said back to Moses. My presence shall go with you and I will give you rest by bringing you and the people into the promised land. Isn't that awesome? So you just don't know what awaits you when the Lord, when you pour your heart out to the Lord and he, um, and he answers you back with this this awesome response. So let's go to the Father in prayer. And I ask you to just really, um, really take this to heart, considering your ways. There's a lot that he had said through this. Well, first of all, I'm going to kind of combine repentance and salvation. Maybe you, you need, you're like I was, you got far away. And so you had to come back and and recommit yourself to the Lord, or it's the first time you've ever, you've never done that. So I'm going to lead you in a prayer and repentance, and repentance about your ways as well. So you just repeat this after me. Father, I believe that Jesus died on a cross for me. I repent of my sins and ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart and be Lord of my life. I give you my life. I give you my heart. And I and I uh, also, I've known you in the past, but I recommit my life to you today. And I ask you, Lord, to, that, to forgive me of my sins, forgive me of my ways. And I ask you to show me the way, your ways, so that I can live a life pleasing to you. I thank you, Jesus, for dying on a cross for me. And coming into my heart. And I thank you, Father, for giving of my sins. Now, you have maybe heard about the Holy Spirit in Acts 1 and 2. And the gifts of the Spirit in Acts 12. And uh, it talks about the gifts of the Spirit. And asking the Holy Spirit to come in and fully take over. And uh, with, his, with the Holy Spirit overflowing in you. And um, and you, there's different gifts that come as a result of that. And all you do is you just say, "So Holy Spirit, come in and and come within me with the your fire, and fill me with overflowing within me, 
so that I can go forth and be a better vessel and move in the gifts of your spirit to uh, touch lives for you, Lord. And I just thank you for Holy Spirit for coming and coming into my life and, uh, and with fire and overflowing in your spirit. Well, we're going to close in prayer, and I just thank you for joining us, and uh, really take heed. It might just be a minor adjustment. It might be something major like I went through, but allow the Lord, surrender, repent, and humble yourself. And if you think you're, you, you're okay, get before the Lord anyway, and just check yourself out, okay? So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for joining us with the blood of Jesus over this webinar. I just give you the glory, honor, and praise, and how you love your people, and you're delighting in them coming to you and showing and talking with you about their ways. I just uh, thank you, Father, for your love for us and the Holy Spirit and Jesus and all the angels and all of heaven for joining us. And we just put the blood of Jesus over this and destroy every plan of the devil. And we put the blood of Jesus over the seeds that have been sown in people's lives today. And I just thank you, Father. Well, we are finishing up this webinar, and I look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. Have a good night.